Hey, what's up, guys? DeekRelaxShacks.com. Now, it's no secret right now at this point in time, van conversions are hotter than hot, especially on YouTube. I mean, more people are watching those than they are Tiny House Tour videos, it seems. Uh, it's for that reason I want to share a particularly cool van conversion here on my channel. Not only because I dig it, but because it's up for raffle and the proceeds will benefit Habitat for Humanity. So check it out. Hello, everybody. My name is Leslie Long, and I am the executive director for a Habitat affiliate in Hardy County, Florida. We have obtained this school bus and have created a weekend camper, or a schoolie, for a better word. Um, you could live in it, or you could just camp in it. Your choice. I'm going to start here at the door because I have this really cool storage. I made it like this so that it could lift up <clears throat> instead of the other way around. And it is a 2004 Chevy Diesel um, for four window 14 passenger bus and uh, runs great it has dual tires in the back single tires in the front and school board maintained it whether they use it or not so it's been very well maintained and it has just under ninety four thousand miles so it's it's in really great shape and it, it can go for a long trip <laughs> more what you're looking at right now is the kitchen <clears throat> i try to use a lot of repurposed items because I'm an environmentalist and I like to recycle as much as possible. Um, those cabinet doors all came from another Habitat Restore in another city. We don't have one. Uh, I think I paid $5 for all three of them and repurposed them for this project. Additionally, <clears throat> this Formica, which is a countertop, and there's another piece of it in here which you really can't see, but those two pieces were left over from another job that we did last year for Habitat on construction, uh, critical repair on a home. And it, it worked out well for the toilet. And this toilet is primitive. It's just a, a bucket and you use the litter and you throw things away. And when it's not in use, it's really cool because it has a, this countertop right here. It's part, it's gonna go over the top here. This is one of the last things I have to do as a countertop. I have to polyurethane stain and install it. It's gonna be hinged here so that you can open it up and use this as extra seating. There's gonna be a cushion it's right now being professionally upholstered so that it's hiding the toilet when it's not in use and then it becomes extra seating. Same thing goes for the cushions here on the sofa. The sofa will actually pull out and be a full bed, <clears throat> just like the full bed that's in the back. So you actually have two full beds in this unit. And this used to be a futon that I had for 25 years. And it pulls out and extends so that you can make a full-size bed. Um, I love this futon when I had it. It was just huge. So I took both pieces and I took it all apart and then I created this type of slatted couch. And I wouldn't buy rosewood today because I'm a lot more environmentally sustainable. But back when I was a lot younger, 25 years ago, I didn't really understand or, or participate in that. I wouldn't buy it today. But I'm glad it's getting reused. I don't feel so bad. I used it for 25 years. Now someone's going to have the luxury of having it in a schoolie. It's hardwood, so it's beautiful, and I didn't want to throw it away. Um, if you look here, we have beautiful curtains. These are blackout curtains. I bought them to go all the way around. I do have to hang those as well. Um, they're going to be for privacy, so they you can sleep if you want. You can just keep nosy people out. There's also going to be a floor-to-ceiling <clears throat> right here from here all the way across above my head for privacy at night so people aren't peeking in the front window. If you happen to have a light on we have an above counter sink it's porcelain and it's nice and we do have 12 volt electricity to run a water pump so you've got running water also it will run this it's a coleman fridge cooler so it acts as a refrigerator and you just have a plug-in right there it's 12 volt it also we also have a television right here that was donated by a board member it's small but it can plug into 12 volt and there is a hookup for 110 power um, that's on the back side of that outside wall in the corner. Just like you would have in any RV or whatever. If you go to a campground, you can plug in. That way you're, you've got electricity. <clears throat> There's, a, as I said, a full-size bed, brand new linens, and it's a really nice mattress under here. This mattress is one of those, uh, they call it a green tea mattress. Because fungus can be a problem 
um, mildew, I guess, in a, in a school bus, moisture. So this particular mattress has got green tea in it and it's guaranteed not to have that problem. So bought that on Amazon. We like Amazon for, you know, because we're in a remote area, we don't have a lot of shopping choices either. The last, re well, two more recycled parts. <clears throat> that book uh, filing cabinet right there was donated by a lawyer and I used it as support for the bed and also just because it was recycled and it gives great storage. I mean, it's got a key, so it locks and nothing comes flying out. And then the other recycled part is a former display rack from Ace. We buy most of our construction materials from Ace and they had that one one day. It was on a stand and it was, I think it was red. And I painted it and I wanted something to divide the, I guess technically the living room from the bedroom. And not just be going from the couch to the bed or vice versa. So it doesn't obstruct the driver's view. And that way they could also, you know, zip tie things to it. I mean, I just had this little sign here, zip tied. You can zip tie plants, you know, anything you want. You can zip tie a light, you can zip tie photos, whatever you want. So it just gives you a little bit of character in the school bus. Um, it has air conditioning. You see that ugly thing right there? If I have time, I'm gonna paint it white. I'm gonna spray paint it, but I gotta take it apart to do it. So I'm not sure I'll get it done. But I would prefer that it be white and cleaner um, just because. But it only works when you're driving. There is no AC when you're parked. But for camping, you know, that's not usually a problem. You don't usually have camping in your tent either. If someone decides to live in it, they can get themselves a portable air conditioner. <clears throat> I have to finish right there that support um, and closing in under the couch. But all that will be done. Everything will be finished. It will all be nice and white and brand new and shiny. And countertop will be finished. And it's going to be a wonderful thing. I have enjoyed working on this tremendously. And I sometimes I wish I could keep it myself. But we can't win. But you can. So get your ticket. I'm going to leave you with this. You can go to hardyhabitat.com. You can buy tickets. You can see up-to-date photos. You can see photos from the entire build. You can call me. You can do whatever you need to do. Just buy a ticket, please. And that helps to support us in building a house for a deserving family here in Hardy County. Tickets are only $20.00. And we are only selling 1500 1500 of them. So the drawing will be held on November 10th, which you're in the two week, under two week window. So it's going to be two weeks from this past Saturday. Today's Tuesday. I want you to buy a ticket and we appreciate your support of our habitat. And um, all the money that's raised is going to be going to build a house. You know, we're nonprofit 501c3. We do not keep the money. We do not make a profit. So. Anybody who's interested in having a school bus, this is your perfect opportunity to do it with a $20 ticket. Oh, and I, before I forget, this is a table. We couldn't figure out, I couldn't figure out a way to put a table. Sometimes they mount them on the wall or whatever. But since I did the sofa this way, I didn't have a choice. So I bought this bamboo small table. It's really cool. It has telescoping legs. And this is the perfect little nook for it right there under the kitchen counter. And this other piece right here is the other counter that goes over the... The toilet one is not in use. So <clears throat> there are stools that are going to go underneath the sofa that match to go with the table. And you guys are all set. You can take this. You don't have to set up a tent. It's perfect for camping or anything else you want to do with it. I wish you luck. Each and every one of you that buy a ticket, please, by all means, get in touch with me if you need to. And thank you and have a blessed day.